Billy Wiz Gamer back online. I'm gonna show you how to gain morale uh, on Avon Colony. Um, <clears throat> in this, oh, she's on it. Look at that. Let's just quickly get a defensive. I need to get a battery first. Hold on, boys and girls. Let me just do this because this will help them. They don't like being shot by lightning. So if you do see yourselves getting struck, you have to build a battery first. Then defensive has got quite a big area you can see in the white circle also like so my air quality is though my morale will definitely be impeded by air quality you can have a look down here um, it's got the red arrows down that means that it's consuming air put that in it will give you a green arrow down <coughs> and or green arrow up and that will mean air is being intake 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 on is that the right word? Taking it. I don't know. So here you can see this is terrible air quality. Air quality is not good there. Let's put one right over here. I've got geothermal. Geothermals are terrible for air. If you can, always add air intakes. I'm just going to quickly blot a few about because that should get me air up. You should see my morale going up afterwards. Uh, and then I'll get onto a little bit more. Uh, advanced side of things in terms of morale <clears throat> so um, the morale should now be up it is important that they always have enough air the air should be around 99% 100% there's no reason for crap air um, and it will your colonists will hate it um, try and make tunnels to everywhere you go and try and keep your workers close to where they're going to be working so put a skyscraper where there's plenty of work to be had a research lab maybe opposite it so they can walk straight there and that will help again massively with morale you'll find that most a lot of people are dissatisfied with the amount of time they have to commute to work I know they're in like the middle of space and they're whinging about having to walk five ten minutes to work whereas us in England in the world you know takes us bloody hours to get to work mate so <clears throat> air quality alert select it's still over here don't worry my air intakes there my air filter if your air filter's not going up or air <coughs> quality is not going up just remember to get more people working in there it's not not difficult just click on the arrow double arrow up and it will make it higher priority for uh, a place for you to work unidentified object you need to get that for the end of the level I've completed this level you can see on my um, on my videos and my catalogues and whatnot, I've played through it, and that is an integral part. You need to get that to get you at the end. It's morale up to ninety percent, and to get that, <clears throat> once you've got that far, and your air is okay. Veronica's talking to me. Shut up, Veronica. No one wants to know what you've got to say. I've already done your goddamn mission. Leave me alone. Um, the people are. They're always gonna need police as well look you see where it's red that's where they need the police the most uh, high built up areas of your colonists they'll need uh, more police that's near a skyscraper I'm gonna put another one over here because I want to get my morale nice and high I'm not really bothered with what Veronica has to say as I said I've done this level I know what the uh, I know what the mission is well I've done the mission I'm literally just come back to show you here so morale can go you can see the morale going up and see that it helps so let's make sure the air quality is still up there because it's getting better but it's still a bit low around here let's build an air intake fan there that should again massively help so once you've got the I'm going to build another police drone they don't, they're no big trouble to build a police drone just a little tier 2 over here as a habitat there and that will help them stay happy and stay in line so now 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 we need to get service related structures this will help people if you haven't got an enhancer dispensary <clears throat> it's worth getting one but you do have to keep it stocked uh, with with a lot of things with like with your own items so 
a research centre, I haven't built a research centre first. If you're going to build an enhancer dispensary, uh, always have a research lab ready for you because you have to have a research lab, a resource management, a chemical plant, um, requires a research centre, so I can build that after the research centre is done. And I'll show you because I'll build the, I will build it now, the enhancer dispensary. So you can see what it does. A lot of people can be doing it. Come and speed this up. So you see, enhancer dispensary. It's got one enhancer, uh, Murphquake. Manufacturing requires a chemical. That's all it can sell at the moment. But it has, it can't sell it because I haven't actually got it. So there's no point building enhancer dispensary without actually being able to make the correct stuff to sell within the enhancer dispensary because you have to stock it. You can do the trade and trade in some of the enhanced items and stock items and whatnot. But um there's in my opinion you should just make them yourself. This is the easiest way. Get your research plant going like I like I have at the moment it's just being built. Um while we're doing this you can also build parks. Park a park next to I'll build a park there and I'll build a little little tunnel there going straight opposite. So now there's a park there, so again that oh, you are, morale's gone above eighty percent, but I'm gonna carry on just so I can show you how to use the enhancer dispensary. That there. Like I said, nothing's there. Come reason uh, ninety three percent, let's get that done. So once your research lab is done oh, I said that's my research lab. <gasps> Idiot. Um the first thing, thing I do is Kelco Sos, but I'm not going to do it. It's a Murphquake, you can see they can actually do it. But Gold Bloom, uh, Quarry Buddies are all in hot, like you. Requires a mill to make. Um, these will require a chemical plant once they have actually been um, researched. But I'll, again, to speed up research, get everyone in there and you can upgrade it as well. So once that now that's been that's been built, I can build a chemical plant, which is they're integral to going um, into making the stuff to sell in the enhancer. So you research it in the research lab, then you produce it in the chemical plant. Um, so for instance, for the let me just look because I need Entarian quarry spores. So you need to go farm, get your farm tiers, whatever's good, and then. Get down to your core ori spores. So I need to produce them. They're not really very well produced in that area, but I'll make them anyway. Um, what was it else I needed? Uh, Quarries and Intari. So again, you need to create some Intari. It's not just going to make itself. There's Intari. Go on the best square 6.8, 7.0. And get them built. Because that's going to be the first thing that I will create once my research done on it. You can see gold bloom. So that's getting done this time. So it's as if research is done. 85%. And now because it's been upgraded to level 2. There's a load more uh, stuff that I can actually research. But again I'm just going to start from what I've done. Research complete. Once the research is done. Like I've said, I've selected the ones I've wanted. Don't forget to select them all afterwards because you still want all this stuff. But you want to get the ones you can produce and make first. Once you've actually been able to produce that, you have your slowish drone robot still making your chemical plant. Come on, come on, mate. Speed up, speed it up. Time's out. Where is he? Let's get, let's get more people working there. Let's get that upgraded. So the chemical plant can now produce what it can make what's been researched basically so and if you speed that up get people in there I'm already I haven't got any immigrants to fill it but you can see here I've got 95 corn available and 2496 water and that would create corn syrup um, and that would look a sugary unhealthy high calorie food that is manufactured in large quantity from corn syrup. gold bloom uh, an enhanced beverage that increases health but causes drowsiness which large productivity required soda or sugary manufactured at our chemical plant inputs so again you need corn syrup and you need 
uh, so corn syrup to make soda. I've got the groji and the kelco spores for the gold bloom, so I need to, another farm for them too. Alright, let's get them farm set up. That's the wrong thing. I need a farm mate. I'll do a level 2. Groji. 3.2 is not really a good production. 4.2 there, let's do that. Alright, and. Why do I keep going to storage depot? Let's do a go. Kelco scores 8.4. Let's do that there. So now they're being produced. So if I go back over here, my chemical plant is over here. Chemical plant, amber joy. I've got five Kelco scores. I need Xeno Sage. Right, I need Xeno Sage as well. Let's make another farm for Xeno Sage. Oh. Then I say that oh, it produces lovely. Twelve, let's do that. Alright, so now finally this is all just to get your enhancer dispensary working, so like I said, it's just the fact that you've made an enhancer dispensary, you can see there is like nothing that you can sell at the moment. Look, no enhancers available, little point it being open, you're not gonna have people being happy, not being able to buy or not have anything there. So the chemical plant, go over to the chemical plant and finally you can see the highlighted one so 36 available, 45 available in Tari and Xenosage and that uh, reduces colonies crime rate and enhances that increases social compliance so that's a good one to make Amber Joy, happiness, increases happiness by 5% so again your morale will be increased quite significantly if you uh, made that so I'm going to produce that and I'm going to produce that, you can do more than one at a time and gold bloom, large productivity, but it's basically someone get, getting drunk in it. So when you do this, make sure if you're using one that uses water like this, a corn syrup, it can be killer for your water. You can think you can keep building water uh, dispensaries and whatnot, and keep going, keep going, and you'll never get there. Uh, another way to increase morale is build the VR center. It's quite a big build to do. Um, but do the VR center along those, so it's built, um, and then once it's built, do colony control. You can go down to uh, free gaming. Requires one with referendum victory. I haven't won a referendum yet, but you can see I, I will be doing doing one soon. So colony control, like I said. Go and then once that's done, go down to free gaming, select that, and you can see a colonist can play VR games for free at home, increases electricity costs of habitants but and skyscrapers, but increases entertainment morale, especially for unemployed colonists. So again that would help massively. You can see you can go through things along those lines and see uh crime has gone down, building count is going up, uh food quality total food, loads of food. Giving them uh, a variety of food will also increase their happiness. Unhappy colonists is right low down. So you can see that's basically how you do it. Use your, your service related buildings, uh, build bar and grills because it will, you can see, uh, increases food quality and entertainment morale around there. Your parks, air, increases air quality and entertainment. Service related structures increases morale, offering good basic uh, basic retail goods to your colonies. So you can see that the, a hospital is massive as well. Without a hospital, they will get upset because they think they've got no decent health care. Um, and that is everything, I think, for, t uh, for morale, boys and girls. I think they are most of the points covered. On this level, you will have to get that item there and build a. Uh, it's not there, you'll have to build uh, resource management. I can't remember where it is. Oh, oh that there, artifact containment unit. And then you can inspect it and you do it that way and you get people really happy. There's a, a, I don't know, some sort of endorphin or something that it sends out. Everyone gets super happy and you get up to 90% that's required at the end of the level. 
Thank you for watching. Please subscribe for other informational videos on Avon Colony. As well as just playthroughs, me playing through the game. Very interesting, as you can imagine. Um, cheers. Much obliged. Billy Wiz Gamer. Over and out.